guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I wanted to show you how I changed my haul overall I like my haul but I wanted to make a little upgrade and change to it you will see me repaint the door frame into a darker color and also repaint a haul organizer from a lighter color into a darker color I got the organizer from a thrift store for only six dollars I think it is a great way to show you that you can find cheap stuff at the thrift store and even if you don't necessarily like the color of an item at the store these can easily get fixed with the change of the color buying color is such a cheap way of making a drastic change either if it's for an item or a wall I did a living room makeover in a previous video I will link it up here in the corner so you can check it out. I used the same color in the living room makeover as I did in my haul. So make sure that you check it out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Alright, let the makeover begin. So the very first thing that I started to do was to remove the electric cover. Then I used the blue tape and I taped it all around the door frame. This is to make sure that you get an extremely straight line once you are finished painting. Before I started to paint with the black color, I wanted to go in with the white color first on all the edges around the door frame. And in the video of my living room makeover, I explain the reason why I do this. So make sure that you check out that video where I will explain that more in detail. With the wall organizer, the very first thing I did was to clean it off real good and then I removed the um, hooks and the screws from it just to make it easier for me when I paint it. Here I also used the blue tape all around the edges just like what I did on the wall.
For this organizer, I used both a paintbrush and a roller. And I had to do two coatings on this because uh, after the first coating, it still was some like empty spots. So um, I think co two coatings is always good to do because it would just look more full and even all throughout. Here is a little tip for you guys, especially when you're hanging wall art. Um, I usually do this all the time and it never fails me. So the first thing that I do is that I place the blue tape by the hanger attachments and um, then I make a little cross right in the middle where the attachments are. Then I will move over the tape to the wall where I want it to hang, of course. Then you will use a bubble level to make sure that the tape has been placed straight. Then you will simply just use some nails and hammer in where the crosses are on the tape. Then you can simply just remove the tape. And just hang up your wall art. This never fails me guys, you just have to try it. Alright guys, that's all that I have for this video. I really like the new makeover in my haul. There wasn't a lot of changes that I did, but sometimes it doesn't have to be a lot done to make a big change and impact. I hope that you also like the makeover and that it will give you some inspiration for future makeovers to your own home. I appreciate you all so much for watching as always. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.